If you're tuning into this, you've got a UE22 error. I've got a Pioneer VSX1021. I don't even know if that'll show up. Probably not. But anyway, it's a VSX1021. Um, I'm not a I'm not an electrical engineer. I'm just a guy who's watched a lot of YouTubes. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing out of the gate here. So I just took the cover off. I believe the chip that is the factor is this one right here. It's the Texas Instrument one. It's the one that's got a little Texas logo on the very top of that chip. You just probably barely make it out, but trust me, it is what it. It's a uh, it's a Texas Instrument. Anyway, why I started the video here, I haven't done anything other than take the cover off is I've got dust particles all over this thing. And you can see to the left of the chip, there's like a clump of dust. And, um, and there's a clump of dust on top of the chip as well. And I'm thinking, geez, maybe this is part of the problem here is I've got like just too much shit. So this is a magnifying glass. I'm gonna see if I can look through with the magnifying glass, if that'll help. It doesn't look like it's helping with the... Um, the video just trying to zoom in a little bit more yeah, maybe a little bit doesn't suck that bad in any case you can kind of see all the dust around it so I'm gonna do a few different segments of this video and uh, my next step is I'm gonna take this compressed air and I blow the shit out of the top of this thing and get all the dust out of it as much as possible I do have a uh, compressor but I think that might be a little dirty um, so I'm just gonna go with the compressed air and I might even just power it up before I even, um, you know, go to the soldering process. But I did watch online. I got a soldering pen. I haven't even opened the box yet, but I got a soldering pen. I got a heat gun. And I got a infrared um, temperature uh, reader. So if I have to get to it, then that's what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to solder around that chip. And I'm going to uh, heat that thing up to 350 maybe a little bit more, and then not touch it at all, that's for damn sure, and then just let it cool down. So that's the intention, but uh, I think I'm going to start off with just blowing this thing and seeing what happens when I clean it all off in here. All right, well, here's a short story. You can see it's blinking, and then you can also see it is a 1021. So I did, um, I stood it up on its side because you can't, um, when you're using these cans here, you know, very clearly it says, you know, don't shake it, don't tilt it. So you can't really tilt it like so. You gotta keep it straight up. And so anyway, I put it on its side. I blew this thing clean. You can probably see the Texas Instruments logo on there now, now that it's been cleaned off. But I was kind of hoping that cleaning it would help it, but it didn't. So I don't really see any like, I don't know, I'm gonna see how I get that flux in around that thing because doesn't really look like it's got any, um, you know, pins exposed. Like some of these others, you can see the pins right around it. And um, that's where you'd be putting the solder, but it's all clearly very, very much underneath this thing. So um, I don't know, I guess we'll see how that goes. I guess uh, maybe I'll take another snapshot after I, after I flex it. So, there you go. All right, so I did just flux this thing with this, uh, not sure if you can read that or not. Basically it says no clean flux, which basically means don't do <laughs> Take two. Um, so I have some no clean flux that I bought, you know, on Amazon. It's got a little pen, a yellow tip on it. And uh, I just wiped the edge of this thing. It's like, you can barely even tell that it's there, but um, in any case, I did, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put more on there or not, but um, it's, uh, it's pretty clear. You can't really even see it. So I'm just showing you what I'm doing here anyway. I'll do another. I don't know how much I need on that. I don't know if I already have too much. I have no idea. This is all an experiment, and if it doesn't work, I'm throwing this fucking thing away, so it doesn't really matter. But sorry for the shaky camera, but anyway, I just flexed it up again. Got my heat gun. I'm going to plug it in. I'm not going to record while I do it because I need to use my hand on the heat gun and my hand on the infrared. 
The only other thing about the infrared is that um, if I turn this thing on, you see these numbers at the very top that says E equals 58. That's the emissive, emissivity value. And there's a different value depending on what type of material you're trying to get a heat reading from. So you can see here in the book, the manual, it's got, um, it doesn't have silicon. So I'm kind of guessing it here. I put it at 50. I don't know if that's really correct or not, um, but that's what we're going to go with. So anyway, I'm going to heat this thing up till around 350. And, um, you know, it's got a little red laser dot on there. So I'll kind of be keeping an eye on it. And that's the plan. And then I'm going to let it cool down to, a, you know, approximately room temperature-ish and then power it on and see how I do. All right, so here you can see I'm just letting it cool down now. It's got a little ways to go. So we'll say our prayers. I don't know. I have my doubts, but we'll see. All right, well, here we go. Here's the... Uh... There it is. <laughs> 71.2. So the board is around 68, 70, you know, give or take. It's pretty cool. It's, you know, room temperature. I'm in the garage right now. It's freaking cold out here. But anyway, let's uh, see what happens. I got it plugged in. I'm, I'm, I'm going to bet. Well, I'm going to tell you what I did first. I, I had that thing hovering about an inch and a half, two inches above it. I actually heated it up to about uh, 600 instead of 350. Um, I watched a video that said, you know, around that temperature. So anyway, that's what I did. And um, I didn't see any bubbling. I didn't see any smoking. There's no smell, but anyway, my money is on this is a total failure and we'll find out. I'm shocked. <laughs> no UE22. I am freaking shocked. Okay, well, there you go. That's what I did. Yeah, I, you know, I wish I could have recorded it while I had my hand over the thing and doing it, but um, anyway, yeah, brought it up to about 600, so this is very curious. Very curious. Anyway, I'm going to go put the thing back together and we'll see how we do. Yeah.